Thank you, Walker. Inside or outside the Nottingham SU protesters have been occupying Kraus Heinz Hall since Monday afternoon. Our reporter Lilia Wood is outside of Kraus Heinz Hall with the key numbers to remember from this week's movement. Lilia? Thanks, Katie. So if you guys remember, this exact area around this time yesterday was crowded with people as these doors were locked. At 7, 7 a.m. this morning, they were opened. So let's take a look back at how we got to this point. Crown Pines Hall sit in. Around 30 people slept in the closed building the first night which led Syracuse University to suspend 34 people. SU admitted to suspending four people that were not in the building. Not again, SU claims that DPS racially profiled the four students that were mistakenly identified. Let food in! Let food in! The students inside went more than 15 hours without food or hygiene products before anything was allowed in the building. That if they sign it, then they'll, they'll take away all their expulsions so they won't be suspended anymore, but that would also entail them not to protest again. On Tuesday, the students inside Kraus Heinz Hall got a letter from the administrators saying the suspension would be lifted if they left the building and did not make another student conduct violation. The University Senate voted on a non-binding agreement to open the building this morning at 7 a.m. Okay, is the, re the resolution is? Okay, goodbye. Protesters have been in the building since. The deadline for their new 18 demands is tomorrow. Now, some of those demands include DPS not being armed, a freeze in our tuition, and free laundry and printing. We'll give you more updates about the demands as the deadline is tomorrow. Reporting live outside Krauss Hines Hall, I'm Lilia Wood.